Hi guys, my name is Lisa Canny. I'm from County Mayo and I will be your tutor for the Beginners Harp program here on the Online Academy of Irish Music, um, oaim.ie. And um, what you can expect from this course is to start from the very, very beginning and learn the basics um, to Irish lever harp playing. Um, there's a lot of different uh, techniques um, to playing harp and we'll go through them nice and slowly and you can um, expect to have about six or seven new tunes in your repertoire by the end of this program too. So I hope you enjoy it. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is introduce you to your instrument um, and we're going to start from the very beginning as I said. So um, this is my harp and um, I have a currently tuned to B flat which means that with all of my blades down, all of my levers here, with all of them down, I can play from B flat up to B flat and it's um, a perfect scale. So that's how I've chosen to tune my harp at the moment and it's a good way to start um, whatever way you'd like to tune it yourself. But if you'd like to copy what I'm doing, so it's B flat and then to get it into the key of C major, which is kind of our starting point, we're going to put up all of the E blades and the B blades. Now, if you're unsure of where the notes are, Let's start with that first. So all of the reds are all C's. They're all C naturals. All of the um, blue or black, whatever color you have there, strings, they are all F naturals. And it's from those colored strings that you figure out what all the other notes are. So. For example, you can see me there, if you start with the red, that's C, next one's going to be D, E, flat, F, natural, G, A, B, flat, C. So that's how you figure out what your notes are. And as you can hear from that, that's not quite a perfect major scale. So what we need to do is put up the E's, so find your E and put up the blade, put up the lever and find your B's and put up the lever and we'll just hear what that scale sounds like now. So now you can see that we have a perfect C major scale. So I want you to do the very same for every octave on the harp, put up the B's and the E's or whatever blades you need to put up to put your harp into the key of C major. And you test it by going from red to red and, and making a perfect scale. So once you're in the key of C, um, the next thing is to uh, start actually making sure that the, tune, the harp is in tune. So I use an electronic tuner to help me along with that. Um, and then we're ready to start actually learning some tunes. So the first thing that we need to learn is um, how to hold our fingers and our hands on the harp and how to actually pluck the strings. And there's a lot of technique involved um, in how to pluck the strings to get a nice tone and also in how to move between the strings. So this will take a little bit of time and um, give yourself that time, be patient. Um, it's one of those things that once you get it, you'll never forget it, um, but it might take a little bit of a while to uh, to nail it. So what we're going to learn first is the simple scale of C and I'm going to apply all of the techniques that you need to learn um, as we go along. So we're first going to use two hands. We're going to use both our left and our right and um, just so you can see there we're going to call our thumb number one, um, two, three, four, five. Uh, so two, three, four and five and we don't actually use our baby fingers at all so you can get rid of five. But we do use our thumbs and our um, two, three, four. So what we're going to do is place our fourth finger in our left hand on C, the red. Third finger beside it on D. Second finger on E, as you can see there. And thumb on F. Now, before we go any further, I want you to lift that thumb. Lift it up so that you can see it changes the shape of my hand from there to there. So it's very, very, very important that you keep your thumb up in comparison to the rest of your fingers. And then we're going to do the same on our right hand. Four, right beside it on G, 
three on A, two on B, and thumb on C, and lift that thumb up. So your thumbs are much, much higher than the rest of your fingers. And the reason for that is that when it comes to movement in our hands, we'll want to move under our thumbs at a nice pace. And that's why you do it, much like in the piano. Okay, so we're just going to play up the scale like this. I'll do it for you first. Just like that. There's a lot of things we need to remember as we're doing it. So once you're placed back in place again, four, three, two, one, thumbs up, four, three, two, one, thumbs up, and we're ready to go. Now make sure your shoulders are relaxed. You don't have them up or tensed, that they're nice and relaxed, and that the rest of your arms are nice and relaxed too. You're just barely leaning against the harp with your right arm, wrist. So now we're gonna pluck up one by one from the bottom up to the top. And as we pluck, I want you to think about following through. So follow through with each pluck of each string. So rather than just plucking and letting your finger just fly around there in the air, I want you to bring it right back into the palm of your hand. And the next one, and the next one. And then your thumb on crosses over. So you've actually ended up with a perfect fist, as you can see. So the fingers go all the way back into the palm and the thumb goes right over them all. So let's do that again. And we'll continue on with this hand. So pluck them right back into your palm. So I've ended up with two fists. And that not only gives you a great tone to each um, string, but it also prevents you from injury in a few years as well, if, if you continue to play. Um, it's the same idea as hitting a tennis ball, that if you stop just when you make contact with the ball, you're using way too much energy to make that stop. It's much, much easier to follow through and um, make a, a full movement. So let's do that one more time. Place your fingers on four, three, two, one, thumbs up nice and high, relax your shoulders and follow through. Let's go, left hand first. Fist. Good. The next thing to remember is when you're plucking, try not to bend too many of your knuckles. You really just want a clean swoop back into your into your palm. I'll go to my right hand, it might be easier to look, to see. So that goes straight back. We don't need all of these knuckles bending, just the middle one, just this one. Right back, right back, and thumb over. And this will take time, so give yourself a little bit of uh, time to, to nail this. Okay, so try it once more from the beginning, and then we're gonna try it with just right hand only. One, two. So you can practice that as many times as you want, pause it here and go over it. But for now, we're going to move on and we're going to do the exact same thing, but with just our right hand. Your right hand is your melody hand and your left hand will play um, a complement chords. Um, so your right hand is the one that will do most of the movement. So you need to be a little bit more flexible in this hand. Um, we're going to do the same thing. So start with your fourth finger on this middle C. Four, three, two, one, lift your thumb. And this time we're going to bring under our fourth finger after we do these four, this fourth finger is going to go under, and we'll do the next four notes. So it's just the same thing, but just your right hand has done it. Now what's really important about this is that once we get to the thumb here, before we ever play this thumb, our fourth finger is already under and already on that next string, which is G. So before you ever play that thumb, you are placed ready for the next one. And then before you play this, you get all four ready. So I cannot, um, I cannot express how important this is. So you really need to pay attention to this and make sure that you uh, master it. So four up again. Fourth finger under and ready before you play the thumb. And the next three fingers on before you even play that fourth finger. 
and take it as slow as you need to and do it as many times until you have it at such a pace that you can do it without any stopping between those um, finger movements. And you can see that I'm still following through and making fists at the end as well. So you can pick any part of the string, um, any place on the, on the harp and do that motion if you don't breathe. Anywhere you want. Once you have done that, the next thing is to learn how to do it back down the way. So we'll go back to C and we'll do our scale up. Fourth finger under, four up. And then back down. So we'll place one, two, three, four. We're going to start with our thumb this time. Thumb over before you play four. And then down. So just try that down again. Thumb starts. Make sure thumb is higher. Fingers are pointing down and we follow through. Thumb over. Four down. And we should end with a nice fist. When you get even more comfortable with that, we're going to take out that double C up the top. So we'll go all the way up to the top and then straight away all the way down. So it's a little bit more difficult. Four up. Four, finger under. Place four. Now pause here. We want to go straight down. So before we play this thumb, we need to place. Down. Thumb over. We're going to do that one more time. Four up, fourth finger under, four up. Before we play the thumb, four down. Thumb goes over and four down. And that's your scale. So now that you know the techniques to do the scale, we're going to do a scale exercise. Um, and what we're going to do is move up in the scale, starting on C all the way back up to C. And because we won't be changing any blades, we'll actually also be going through the modes. So it'll be C, um, Ioni and D, Dory. And you can look up um, the modes and learn about them another time. But for now, all you need to know is that you start on C, end on C, start on D, end on D, and so on. So we're going to start as we did with two hands to begin. So our left and right will start on the C scale. So once again, let's get ourselves into position. Make sure you're sitting up straight. I forgot to mention that in the last one. Posture is very, very important. Make sure you're sitting up straight. So our four, three, two, one in our left hand on C, D, E, F. Four, three, two, one in our right hand on G, A, B, C. Lift your thumbs, relax your shoulders, relax your arms, follow through, and here we go. Now, the exact same thing, one note up. Start on D. This is the scale of D Dorian. Keep going. E Phrygian. Lydian. G Mixolydian. Now make sure you have all eight fingers on before you start. All eight fingers on before you start. A Aeolian. B Lydian. All eight fingers on. And then we're right back up to C Ionian or C major. So you just need to keep remembering all of your technical um, elements that you're following through. Your thumbs are high and that you're ending up with fists, but also the placing all eight fingers on before you start any of those scales. So let's try it again together a little bit slower, but let's try not have too much of a gap between any of the scales. Okay, ready? Three, four.
get your fourth finger ready on D. Place. Get your fourth finger ready on E. Place. Fourth on F natural. Place. On G. Place. On A. Place. B, place, on C, place, so there's all your scales up, so just to remember, just even if you just place one finger in advance, it will at least provide an anchor for you. from there you'll know spatial awareness will, will um, soon tell you exactly where to place the rest of your fingers you won't need to look at the strings as long as you have one finger in place the rest will fall into place so it's very very important that you're always placing in advance and you're going to hear me saying this a hundred thousand times in this course but place in advance at all times so once you've nailed that what we'll try and do is do it with just our right hand only so four on C Place up the four fingers. Now remember, we're going to be crossing under our thumb. Crossing under our thumb there to get to the next section. And we need to do it before we play the thumb. Ready? Three, four. Now we want to move on to D. But already I have my hand in midair and that's not good. So before I play that top C, I want you to have your fourth finger on D ready to go for the next one. So it takes a little bit of concentration. So when we get up to this high C, fourth finger goes down to that D before I play the C. And then I'm ready to place again. So it's just a quick, quick movement from C and back down to D, ready to go again. Let's try it. Scale of C, Ionian. Cross under, fourth finger. Here we go, fourth on D, place, fourth under, place on E, continue, thumbs high, before I play this E, fourth is on F natural, place four under, fourth on G, Fourth under, place. Before I play that thumb, A. Fourth goes under, four up. Before I play this, down to B with fourth finger. Four up. Fourth on the red, C. So loads to do there, but once you've that all mastered, the next thing you can do is go back down the scales again. So let's start up here on high C. So it's the same thing except kind of opposite ways. So instead of crossing under, we'll be crossing over with our thumb like we did in just the simple scale. So we'll be going down from C. Thumb goes over before we play the fourth. And then four down from there. Now we want to go down from B so guess what your thumb goes up on B ready to go before you play the last note and it's there it's ready to go then from there I can place four down thumb on to E thumb goes up to A still following through cross over thumbs are high thumb goes up to G Cross over, thumb goes up to F, follow through that thumb, cross it over, thumb up to E, nearly there, thumb on D, and 
last one, red down to red, C to C. <laughs> 